Okay, it is time to discuss the jejunum and the ilium. The jejunum begins at the duodeno jejunal junction, and the ilium ends at the ileocecal junction, the union of the terminal ilium and cecum. So we can see um, where it begins here at the duodeno jejunal junction, and it continues down the jejunum and um, then uh, we can see the uh, ileocecal uh, junction here, which is where the uh, small intestine ends and the large intestine uh, begins. This is the cecum here. Um, and we should think about the mesentery, which is uh, covering. And the mesentery attaches the jejunum to the ileum to the posterior abdominal wall. And the root origin of the mesentery is uh, directed obliquely, inferiorly, and to the right. It extends from the duodeno-jejunal junction on the left side of the L2 vertebra to the iliocolic junction and the right sacroiliac joint. It then crosses the ascending and horizontal parts of the duodenum, abdominal aorta, inferior vena cava, right ureter, right psoas, major muscle, and right testicular or ovarian vessel. Now we're going to add a little bit more detail here about the jejunum and ileum. First, um, about the uh, jejunum. A jejunum to the jejunum is approximately two-fifths um, of the length, and it is thick-walled and very mus vascular, and it has the uh, plique circularis, uh, which are the circular folds, but it does not have any payers patches. Whereas the um, ilium is approximately three fifths of the length. Um, it doesn't look at in this picture, but um, it is thin walled and less vascular. So this is thick walled and very vascular. This is thin walled and less vascular. And this terminates at the ileocecal junction. And in this case, Peyer's patches are present. So these are important things to remember here. So with, with this nice picture, we can look at some important features here. Uh, remember that the ileum does have the Peyer's patches, and um, the uh, jejunum uh, does not have pears patches. So we can see up here the common um, hepatic artery. Uh, remember this structure here um, on the celiac uh, trunk. And uh, we can see the pancreas here, of course, and the superior mesenteric artery um, down here. And, uh, and of course the ileum down here. So all of these um, structures should be paid attention to, for example, the vasa recta, which are these um, straight arteries, and the ileal arteries, which are uh, directly contacting with the ileum, and the jejunal arteries, which are contacting with the jejunum. Uh, and uh, let's continue on and uh, think about some more structures.